<laughs> oh my gosh. That is sweet. Man, you know you're shooting something serious when you pull the trigger on this thing. And the sound that those bullets make hitting not only the target punching through the cardboard, but slamming into the wet berm, it's like hitting a watermelon. <laughs> that is awesome. Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang. At the 2015 SHOT Show Range Day, there was a rifle there that I got to shoot that I thought was cooler than anything else I shot that day. And it was one of these. It's the Benjamin Bulldog 357. It is a large bore air rifle. It's about as powerful as a 38 Special or 9mm handgun, and it's designed for hunting medium-sized game. Well, after ringing 4-inch steel targets over and over and over again, all the way out to about 50 yards. I knew I had to get one to feature on this channel. It's almost a year later and I finally got one from the great people at Airgun Depot. It's the Real Tree Camo Edition showing how they're really gearing this towards the, the hunting market and it's what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. The Benjamin Bulldog is a 357 caliber bullpup air rifle specifically designed for hunting medium-sized game. Its 1 and 14 inch twist, 28 inch rifle barrel is surrounded by a baffleless trapezoidal shaped suppressor, which Benjamin calls the sound trap. This gives the 36 inch long Bulldog a very sci-fi aesthetic, aided in this case by the ATN X sight that I have mounted. The top Picatinny rail is a whopping 26 inches long to allow mounting of intensifier tubes, lights, laser sights, and other aids for nighttime predator hunting and hog hunting where illegal. The rail height is designed to give you a proper cheek weld when using any AR-15 spec sighting system, whether it's iron sights, a quick detach mount, or red dot. A 5.5 inch polymer rail hangs underneath the barrel for mounting a bipod or other accessories. A front stud is also close by for those that prefer that bipod mounting style or for mounting a sling. The Bulldog is a repeater with a reversible bolt that allows mounting of the cocking lever on either the right or left side. A 5 shot rotary magazine sits flush in the stock. This auto indexing magazine accepts most standard 357 caliber bullets, though jacketed rounds are not recommended and air gun specific bullets like these from Nosler and JSB are preferred. The two-stage trigger breaks at around 3 pounds and sits behind an M1A style safety. The Bulldog is a PCP or pre-charged pneumatic air rifle, which means that it has a 340cc onboard air reservoir that is filled by a separate high-pressure tank. A Foster male quick disconnect valve is protected by a snap-on cover underneath the stock. The Bulldog is not regulated, meaning that the pressure behind the bullet varies with the pressure remaining in the air reservoir. However, the velocity drops off slowly, which means that 5-shot groups are still plenty tight. You will want to top off every 10 shots to keep the Bulldog above its recommended operating pressure, and you need to pay attention to the drop in kinetic energy when hunting multiple animals on a single charge. The Bulldog is available in black or the real tree brown camo shown here. After you shot all five, you get a little red indicator at the top and actually you can't close the action. So you get double feedback that you're out. <laughs> if you're like me, you lose count of how many rounds you shoot, especially if you're taking your time in between them. But it's about as loud as an unsuppressed 22, which is still really quiet for something of the kinetic energy of this. Just because the expanding gases aren't coming from a chemical explosion doesn't mean that those expanding gases aren't loud. But with all of the fairing that's on here, uh, the baffles that are built into the actual receiver of this Bulldog, it's actually relatively quiet.
The Benjamin Bulldog is just one of those rifles I really like to watch being shot. It's easy to be deceived by the space gun looks, but you can see how natural this is to aim. The cheek weld is good, the sight height is exactly like I get from mounting this ATNX sight on an AR-15, and the trigger pull is plenty nice for shooting groups. Cocking does require you to pull your face away from the stock, but I've otherwise found it easy enough to do with either my right or left hand. For bench shooting though, I prefer using my left hand so that my right hand can maintain its grip on the rifle. The Bulldog is also a lot lighter than it looks. It's only 7.7 .7 pounds and most of that is behind the grip, giving the Bulldog the point ability of a much lighter AR-15. According to Crossman, the Bulldog is built in America using globally sourced components. That said, it has enough domestic content to qualify for the Made in USA label. Now it's time for some accuracy testing. All groups are with the same zero and the first four are shot at 25 yards. The Air Venturi round ball is a very inexpensive range round that is surprisingly accurate out of the Bulldog. It's clearly what I'd use for cheap planking and paper punching. The Diablo shown here is a match grade air rifle bullet which prints an impressive sub one inch group. Cast 357 caliber bullets are also popular with bulldog shooters, especially hunters. This 125 grain flat point shoots the lights out. Interestingly enough, the 100 grain version of the same cast bullet flies like a curveball from this bulldog, showing why it's so important to test different weights of bullets to see what your air rifle likes. The Nosler ballistic tip was specifically designed for air gun hunting, and it performs adequately enough for hunting, but not as well as I was hoping for such an expensive specialty round. Moving out to 50 yards, the 125 grain cast flat point still groups great by hunting standards. If you do your part, this round will drill the vitals on medium sized game every time and drop small game in its tracks. The nozzler still performs adequately for hunting purposes at 50 yards, though I think I'll stick with the Hunter Supply cast 125 grain bullets for this rifle. Non-regulated air guns don't have linear power curves, but there's a paradox in that greater fill pressures can mean lower velocities due to something called valve lock. Benjamin took this into account by tuning the Bulldog's impact valve for the low 2000s as you can see here. For an unregulated rifle, the Bulldog will give you very consistent velocities out of a mag if you start with about 2600 psi. Regardless, you need to take this power curve into account when filling your Bulldog for hunting. I realize that it might surprise some of you to learn that big bore air rifle hunting is a thing, but it is a thing. It's been a thing for a while now, and it's exploding in popularity with the increase in availability of mass-produced air rifles like this Bulldog 357. Benjamin makes a few others with very similar ballistic characteristics, and of course there are other manufacturers out there that you can find at Air Gun Depot. But you do need to keep in mind that there is a smaller margin of error using something with the ballistics of 38 special for hunting like deer sized game or larger hogs. But people do it successfully all the time. Uh, and if you don't have to take my word for it, you just can go to Crossman's website uh, or just search for it on YouTube. There are plenty of hunts there showing people take, taking deer, taking medium sized hogs with this rifle or rifles with similar ballistics. You need to determine your own knowledge of deer anatomy and ability to put a 357 caliber hole where you want to, but if you put that 357 caliber hole through both lungs of a deer or through the heart of a hog, those things are gonna die very quickly, very humanely. It's also cool to know that this is accurate enough to take care of you know pesky woodchucks or raccoons or even defend your bird feeder against invasive squirrels. It's going to be a lot of fun to shoot something like this on the range though there is a lot of overhead to generating the kinetic energy that this has in order to actually hunt game. So even though this is a hunting oriented rifle it's pretty cool to see how accurate it is. If you want to learn more about the Bulldog 357 be sure to click the link in the video description below. Be sure to check these links out right here to follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. And be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool stuff. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.